Okay, we're making mushroom duck cell. We've got uh, three tins of mushrooms. Uh, we used uh, portobellas, baby portobellas, and some shiitakes, but you can use any types of mushrooms you like. What you're looking for is basically a paste. We're gonna take that paste and then get the water out of it by boiling it in a pan. First off, you wanna take your mushrooms and quarter them up. And once you have them quartered, you wanna go ahead and add them to your chopper. See, we've got this one already full. Go ahead and pulse on low until you get a fine chop. You don't want a total paste here. You want some body left in the mushrooms, so about 10 or 12 pulses that will do. And from there, we'll go over to the heat. Okay, okay so we're going to go ahead and take our mushroom mixture and put it in a pan and uh, wait until the water comes out of it. And then we'll proceed on with the white wine and then the cream. As soon as that quits bubbling we'll proceed with a cup of white wine until the white wine evaporates then another cup of white wine until that evaporates and then followed by two cups of cream one at a time until they evaporate. At that point we'll stop and let it cool and uh, we'll use it uh, in our beef yeah, It's time to add the wine so any dry white wine you like we're going to go ahead and add a cup and stir it in and then reduce it back down to that same stage. So about another 10 minutes on medium high heat. All right, we're about ready for our second cup of cream. But before we do that, as you'll notice, we've turned the heat down quite a bit. Now we've already had our first cup of cream in here, and you can see that it's still boiling away a little bit, but it has dried out significantly. But the reason for the lower heat is because the cream will burn much more readily than the wine will. So in goes our last cup of cream. And again, this isn't something you want to walk away from at this point, because uh, cream, being a dairy product, will burn on you. So watch your heat, keep it stirred, and of course, uh, you don't want to stir too much, because it does need to reduce on you. So and This is our uh, last step. Of course, we'll let it cool on a plate, and then put it in the fridge uh, for use in our beef wellington a little bit later. Get the pan nice and hot, add a little olive oil, and get your pieces in there to brown. We're taking three slices of our Parma ham, sliced very thinly as you can see, window pane. Overlapping them by about oh, half an inch or so, just to make sure we've got good coverage. And of course, when you go and buy your Parma ham, you want to make sure that it comes off a nice big piece, that way you get a nice long length. That will allow you enough room to wrap your beef uh, tenderloin. So we've got our duck cell patty here. We're going to lay that in. And of course, our nice piece of seared now beef tenderloin. Okay, now to wrap your beef tenderloin, you've got your plastic film. And you want to lay it up like that get it to come off, take another roll, get it to come off. Okay, and now we're going to do the final roll here. And of course you want to take and make sure you tuck in this plastic nice and tight. And continue tucking as you roll down. Make a nice tight roll. And at the very end we're going to twist the outside edges and this will make a nice round roll that will be easily wrapped in your pastry dough. Okay, we're going to finish up wrapping our uh, our beef wellington. Of course, we've already got it wrapped in the parma ham with the mushroom duck cell and we're on to the final step. This is the puff pastry. We've got our cooled and chilled uh, beef tenderloin there getting wrapped in the puff pastry. Of course you want to have an egg wash there, keep everything sealed nice and tight. So we're pinching it there so in order to make sure it stays connected and doesn't come apart in the oven. And of course once we're done applying the egg wash to seal it tight, we'll uh, score it on top to make a nice decoration. Okay, we're applying the egg wash as the last step before we bake. 
See, we've, we've been there since we egg wash the puff pastry all over, and we're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of a decoration. About the same different decorated oh, yeah. fillets of beef going in. It's a beef wellington. We've got uh, 40 minutes in there until your internal temperature reads 130 degrees. Take them out, rest them. They should be golden brown and delicious. And uh, eat and enjoy.